r slash ask reddit what was the pettiest reason you didn't want to date someone i was dating a girl who had a mole on her face it wasn't bad at all we broke up and a few months later i met another girl but she had a mole on her neck we really hit off but i didn't want anyone to think i had a thing for moles so i stopped talking to her i regret it now she was really cool look at this guy with his mole fetish everybody what a freak he is walking by everybody to laugh after terrible experiences with a Madison, a Geneva, and a Sydney, I made a rule to not date a woman named after a geographic location. And Guadalajara is heartbroken. Lanvia will gwingle gojer each windrob will land to cilia gogo gok wipes her tears. She had a Fiat 500. She loved to talk about her Fiat 500. Every time she said Fiat 500, every time she wrote Fiat 500 in a text, she would add beep beep I was driving to work in my Fiat 500. Beep beep every duck I'm time. If I hadn't have blocked her on every form of communication I would be writing this from prison. I'm laughing absurdly hard at how ducking ridiculous this is. While in your Fiat 500. Beep beep, right? This girl always answered the phone with. Hi what's wrong? Nothing is wrong. Samantha, I'm just calling you to see if you want to hang out say hi ask if you wanna get food etc. She would always be down to hang out after the initial what's wrong. But for some reason it just irrationally bugged the shit out of me. What's wrong is the way you answer the goddamn phone Samantha. Whenever someone calls me instead of texts I'm always like are you okay? Unless it's my mom then I know she's just calling because she doesn't like texting. She said no when I asked her out. I know it makes me shallow but that's a deal breaker for me every time. Every ducking time. She would mispronounce words with a U as if they had like a double O example. Puke comma puke acute comma cooter refuse comma refuse beautiful comma bootiful got on my nerves too much. Computer? Yep. She sang in a way that was clearly meant to impress me. Which it did not at all. You all know what I mean. Bad singers who think they're ducking amazing. And then later she told me to compliment her singing when I kept dodging her continuous dropped hints that she wanted me to. I've never ignored someone so fast in my life. Did you ever say that's a no for me dog to her? That's a no dog. Someone pointed out that my past two girlfriends were blonde. That I must therefore have a thing for blondes. They were just the two that stuck around so they eventually became relationships. Super hot blonde from work starts flirting it up and I noped out of there just because I didn't want it to become a thing. She's currently married to a guy that as many people pointed out, looks like me, only way more attractive than I am. So good for her. What is bad about having a thing for blondes? Nothing really now that I look back on it. It was just something that wasn't actually true. They're actually fairly low on my totem pole of preferences. But, this is about the pettiest reason you didn't want to date someone. This was pretty petty. Because the people at my work were keen on it happening and trying to get us alone together. I liked the girl but they were annoying me so much. I ignored her just to spite the people who had decided they would jump in as matchmakers. Yes, very annoying when people push others together and then watch it happen like a soap opera. No thanks. Our birthdays were the same day and I didn't want to share the cake. Come on Ashley, you need to think bigger. Share the cake? No. Share two cakes. Same amount of cake, but two kinds instead of one. Seems to me like you might have gone and goofed up a great cake opportunity. Two cakes always better than one. His seductive face looked like he was falling asleep. Plus the fact that he had a seductive face at all. IDK man. If you wanna bone me just ask. Don't close your eyes halfway. Put your head down and stare at me. Gives me the willies just thinking about it. Every time he was thinking here comes the smolder. You broke my smolder. This girl was beautiful. Driven. Intelligent. We got along well. She was perfect, except that she would snap her fingers whenever someone would say something she liked. Every conversation, peppered with snaps. She'd do it instead of applauding at concerts too. Eventually, I realized that this couldn't be my life. WTF. Why? Because eventually he would snap. His name was literally one letter off from my ex's name. Similarly. I once rejected someone because she had the same unisex name as my brother. That'd have felt awkward. 
I rejected someone because she had the same name as my mum. And I have the same name as my dad. The thought of us together creeped me out. He just looked so ugly when he ate. I couldn't imagine eating across from that for the rest of my life. Made me lose my appetite. Now I worry if I'm actually ugly when I eat. I have no idea. Oh wait. Maybe I'm ugly all the time anyway. R slash 2 mirror 4 mirror. He held his arms like there were carpet rolls under them all the time. Isles, imaginary lat syndrome. That's exactly it. He was allergic to hummus. I ducking love hummus. More for you then right? Or are there some killer recipes involving hummus? Literally to die for. He wore shorts with scarves. No, that's not petty. That guy was a fashion disaster. To preface, this comment is a little NSFW. Ran into a girl I knew from middle and high school. We got to talking and went on a few dates. On one of the dates we had a few drinks and started talking about our intimate desires. She told me that she loved watching porn and had a serious cum fetish. As a dude, I was like holy shit this is probably what every guy wants to hear. Nothing happens that night. But two days later she hits me up in the middle of the day. We were both on semester break. To come over, she answers the door in some cute lingerie and we go inside and start getting intimate. Everything is going well and then we start having sex. It was like all the worst Pornhub videos I had ever seen. This girl was moaning and screaming over the top, talking dirty to me in such an exaggerated manner that I had to pull myself closer into her and bury my face in a pillow while we were going at it so I wouldn't laugh. I've been with plenty of girls and I know I'm just slightly above average with my equipment down there, so the whole time I'm thinking no ducking way is she serious. It got to the point where it actually turned me off because it was just way over the top. Think cheesy 90s porn moaning and screaming. I ended up pretending to come and that was that. We hung out a few more times but it was the same experience and I couldn't do it. It sucked because this girl was extremely intelligent and beautiful with a great family. A total catch. We went to different colleges so it just fizzled out once semester break ended. You could have just told her to stop acting like a porn star. Or told her you had a kink for ball gags haha. -ha. For real, a beautiful girl with a cum fetish is worth a mild talk if you don't like something she's doing in bed that can be changed. Hell, I'd pull out a whiteboard and have a tiny seminar if she was willing to listen. He was bald in the way his head was shaped it was like having an egg go down on me. I also got rejected this summer because he hated the way I ate popcorn. We're still friends and every time I visit I consider bringing a bag and eating it very pointedly. Whoa, Adam Sandler went down on you? North Union? Like a Seinfeld wet dream in here. You know, I was a bit surprised when the top comment wasn't something about eating peas one at a time. He had noodle breath even though we didn't eat noodles. My ex had syrup breath. Always smelled like she just finished chugging a bottle. Never saw her eat a pancake. Could have undiagnosed diabetes. It's a common symptom to have sweet smelling breath apparently. They talk too loud on public transportation. Edit. My first gold woo. Thank you. Similar. This person talked super loud in enclosed public places. I. E. Restaurants. And was unaware of everyone eyeing her constantly. Couldn't stand it. She had horrible bad breath. She also wouldn't clean up the washroom after taking a shower and as soon as she leaves the washroom. Water is literally everywhere. Like. Does she shake herself off like a dog? Fidget spin the duck out to dry? Or does she lowers the shower head till it's touching her head and the water shoots horizontally while also leaving the shower door open? I always request to wipe the water slash clean up after the shower. She always forgets. Hygiene is massively important. Any girl with bad hygiene, even if they are decent looking avoid them like the plague. She was funny, pretty, intelligent and creative. Too bad that every time she laughed she really sounded like a horse. She told me she didn't like animals or the outdoors. Who doesn't like animals? Not even puppies or kittens? She said she can tolerate pets but dogs scare her. It just wouldn't work. Her eyes were too far apart. I literally couldn't sneak up on her if I tried. Like, one eye for each side of her head. 
Once I really got a good look at her I quit talking to her. Awkward. Edit. Update although it's been 25 plus years she ignored deleted my Facebook friend requests. Twice in two years. She's also never been married. Has no children and is still single. Keep an eye out for her. Can you do an ask me anything for dating a hammerhead shark? Was she seeing someone else on the side? One girl I dated had pancake butt. At another time I was dating a girl that I realized resembled my mom. Same haircut. Same height. Same goofy personality. I broke it off immediately. What's pancake butt? Apologies. That's a term used amongst friends. It's flat droopy booty. Imagine holding a pancake vertically by your fingertips. Now imagine that in a place where a butt should be. He chewed with his mouth open. I liked him a lot. I even brought it up more than once. You eat a lot of meals with people you're dating. Couldn't handle it. Sorry. You were a great guy. Terrible kisser. Tongue flicking in and out like a damn snake. I dated one of these. I remember thinking oh god it's like a dog trying to get ice cream out of an ice cream cone. Someone save me. His fingernails were too long. It was creepy. I'm a dude. And I don't get why so many other guys don't cut their nails. It's gross. I cut my first boyfriend's toenail. Would have cut them all but he freaked and agreed to do it himself. I was 15 years old. Straddled him and forced his sock off so I could cut the worst of his disgusting talons down to resemble something vaguely human. He was just shy of 17 and until that point his mum had always taken him to the doctor to get them cut because she couldn't convince him to do it. I really should have ended it then. They sucked at spelling and were proud of the fact that they hadn't read a book in years. I honestly feel that this is a super reasonable reason. Had just broke up with a girl named Pike. Girl I nearly took homes named Salmon. Says it's easy to remember. Just think of your favorite fish. Don't worry. There's plenty more fish in the sea. That's honestly the nastiest ducking name to have for a girl. Or anyone for that matter. I love Salmon to death but I'm not naming my kid that. Was she hot at least? She drove in the left lane. As soon as she got on the highway she would get all the way over as soon as she could and just sit there at the same speed as the car next to her, blocking traffic. I can't be around anyone that lacks basic situational awareness. I ducking hope you told her why you broke up with her. He told everyone he dumped me because I didn't eat potatoes. What's a potato? Potatoes? Boil em. Mash em. Stick em in a stew? He ate like a picky 5 year old. We're talking only chicken nuggets, cocoa crispies and pizza, shudders. I don't think it's petty but dude brought PJs to my house on the second date, and then changed into them before there was even any mention of sexy time, and didn't understand why that wasn't okay. He was socially awkward all around though, but I felt like this was a whole new level. Maybe he just wanted to be comfy and cuddle? Still would weird me out. It's the second date. We probably only know the basics about each other. First date talk. You come over to hang out. Get to know each other better. Maybe have dinner idk. And you bring pajamas? So either you assumed you were sleeping over, or you think it's not weird at all to bring over pajamas and just change into them whenever. If I was on only a second date with someone yeah it would strike me as duck and weird. His name was Aaron. I wasn't about to be Aaron and Aaron. She was just too petty. She was just Tom Petty. She was a good girl. Dated a girl whose last name was the same as my mother's maiden name. We actually laughed about this and even did a bit of research. Finding that the two names while spelled identically in fact had entirely different origins. So we weren't related. Still, I kept imagining my mom and just couldn't get past it. So I had to break up with her. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.